as was said earlier, this is my, my home turf, my parish, uh, a place, the place I, I, I love, and it's, it's fantastic to see an event like this with so many inspiring people from right across different parts of the world come here to West Donegal uh, to share your talents, to share your enthusiasm, uh, and to encourage others uh, to, to step up also. I, I, I also want to thank Georges uh, Nonesi, uh, who, as you know, the director of Democratis, the Greek National Centre for Scientific Research. His commitment is demonstrated by the fact that he had to depart earlier this uh, morning in order to be in Athens for a meeting uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, his commitment is exemplified, uh, the cooperation at the heart of the European tech community, and I'm sure those who heard his keynote address were inspired and encouraged by it. And I would be remiss because it's been mentioned a number of times already tonight to ignore the fact that we gather under Mount Errigal, which some of you may have passed on your way in, uh, others I hear may be climbing tomorrow. But while Georges and indeed one of the other innovators from Greece um, came from Greece to this corner of Europe in a road which would seem to be a road less travelled, it is in fact a road that has been travelled many times before. It is told in Irish legends that Errigal was named by the Fir Bog an ancient people who travelled from Greece where they had worshipped at Mount Olympus and to this very place and because of its beauty and inspired by its beauty they named Ergil, Ergil as an oratory and they worshipped Mount Ergil as they did Mount Olympus before them. So the connection between that road less travelled in Greece and little did many of you know that we gather here tonight under Ireland's own very own Mount Olympus. This gathering and the innovators we recognise this evening have inspired our own future local entrepreneurs and indeed our entrepreneurs and innovators who fly the flag in this region of Donegal and in Derry. And those who travelled here for Bulg took a road less travelled from different parts of Europe here to the edge of Europe to this Gaeltert community. And I believe that you have all discovered over the past number of days that by taking the road less travelled, a region that is rich in the possibility uh, as a place of ideas and innovation. At this second annual MIT Technology Review Innovators Under 35 European Conference has brought all of you speakers and from research institute companies and universities from across our continent to here, and I thank you for doing that. With countries represented, as we heard earlier, from Europe and further afield. And I think this is really important because we're at a time in our world where the impulse is to turn inwards, and that impulse is very strong among many people. But this conference has shown the importance of collaboration and partnership of breaking barriers, not building them, of opening ears to new ideas, not closing them. Communities, no matter where they are, face common challenges. They face challenges from healthcare, to climate breakdown, to sustainability, to conservation. And our 35 innovators have shown the novel applications of technology in diverse areas from artificial intelligence, as we heard earlier on, to biotech, and how this can be harnessed to address those common challenges right across different communities. Their achievements reveal a common thread, and that thread is that the power of the idea when fostered is limitless. And I think that's a positive and a very powerful message that we have from this gathering. That possibility and that power resides here in the northwest of Ireland, where you will find a growing research and innovation base with collaboration between private and public sectors spanning areas such as renewable energy, medical research, robotics and artificial intelligence. And innovation is fostered here in this region through our anchor institutions, such as the University of Ulster uh, and its campus here in the northwest in Derry. From its cutting edge cognitive analysis research centre to its biomedical sciences research institute, it is supporting the regional economy with its strong research partnerships. Another one of our anchor institutions is the Atlantic Techno Technological University, a, a really welcome development that we've seen over the last number of years, that amalgamation, as was mentioned earlier by Aura. And there we see from its centre of advanced manufacturing to its YSER lab, which applies research and provides solutions using wireless systems across many sectors. 
We obviously have Colab here in Letterkenny, which has grown into a respected innovation ecosystem where entrepreneurs have transformed their business ideas into successful enterprise. And our region is also the home of business ideas and innovators and organisations and companies that are at the cutting edge of new technology. From Randox, based in Dunlow, who are world leading in terms of science in tackling disease and in tackling illness, to Optum in Letterkenny, which harnesses data and information technology to drive sustainable health and personalised care. To Catalyst, that independent, not-for-profit organisation that fosters entrepreneurship and innovation. One of them and more have sponsored this event and I want to thank you for being so flexible and to sponsor such a really important initiative. For my to all the sponsors.